Congratulations on the pizza crust. <laughs> Say wild color. Yeah, wild color coming through. So Abby's gonna walk you through okay, Abby. as if you were an athlete. We're excited to have you. So this is for the opening ceremony. Um, so it has everyone's country flag with their team name front and back. Beautiful. Um, and then tons of product in here. So this is our Active Chill t-shirt. Um, so this year we have a print over top of it and it's a cool technology. So when you touch it, it's like super cool to the touch. Um, and then we have our updated technology to that. So it's a cotton version. So it still has the same technology in it, but more of a soft can feel more lifestyle. Um, and then this is our Mayo knit. So it's a super soft ventilated t-shirt. You can see like the texture is embedded in it. So it's our seamless product. Um, and then we have shorts that match back to that and a pair of tights. So these are the shorts with the games press on the back. Um, and then this is our games color this year, so it's called Sunglow. And it has the nice Reebok cross on the side. Um, and this is our games print this year, so it's kind of a mashup of our SoCal inspiration, which is like kind of part of our heritage in the CrossFit world, mashed up with this inspiration that we took from Wisconsin barn quilts. Um, so you can see both worlds kind of coming together. And then this is the outfit for the opening ceremony. So we made a little cheat sheet for the athletes here um, and we recommend that they put it away in this plastic bag just so that it stays nice and clean and safe until Thursday. Um, so Andy here can take you to the dressing room. Perfect. So Kevin, we're going to take you in a dressing room where we try everything on and make sure it fits. <laughs> we do have alterationists on site for performance hindering alterations that need to be made. So back here we've got our back of house storage. It's a little messy, but we have our giveaway product for the album, so it's not name and numbered. So you can switch out sides on that. That's just some extra like layering pieces. Sometimes it gets cold in Madison. One year we had a torrential downpour. We need to make sure everyone's prepared. And then we have all the athlete kits stacked up in the back. So tomorrow we're getting ready for all of the teenagers and masters. We just have two teams left. So this is our alterationist crew back here. They've been with us for a few years now. They come out from LA. They were here like in person with us for the original games and then we've um, yeah. Bring them in so they will alter any products. We usually can turn them around in a few hours. And then we also have our heat pressers here. So we've got the extra heat for the athletes in case we have any mess ups with the kids or we need anything changed. Um, and then we have the heat pressing machines back here too. So they will tap those and get those reprinted. And usually we're able to do it while they're in the changing room um, if we're not too backed up. So it's pretty quick service. So once everyone's done with apparel, I hand them off the towel here. Footwear. Let's go. No, got apparel. <laughs> All right, this is how it works. So, athlete will walk up. We're going to take them through four pairs of shoes. Um, 500 athletes, we're talking, we're handing out 2,000 pairs of shoes over the next four days. So, let me take you through. Actually, I'm going to take you on this wall a little bit and mess with that. You can see we got a lot of people here, a lot of teams are here. I don't know. So we start with the Nano. You might have heard of this since you're following the Nano Club. I assume you know what the Nano is, but the new Nano 9, done up in the game's color. As we go down here, we have the Harmony Row 3. So this is an award-winning running shoe from our running team. Uh, Flow Ride Energy, so we've got a super foam in there. Unbelievable running shoe. We know that Dave likes to program long runs in the games. We have this ready for the athletes. Come down. We are talking the CrossFit Games, so there's going to be a one rep max at some point, whether it's playing jerk or snatch. We've got our Olympic lifter, the Legacy lifter, ready to go, done up in the games color. The last shoe, which some of you probably don't even know about, is we have an all-terrain shoe. So the idea here is that um, most of the athletes, as it gets out later in the week, they'll do some sort of push-pull on the turf. 
So whether it's, you know, you guys remember flipping the pig, or uh, a lot of times the teams do sled pushes together. Um, so what this is, gives a little traction on the on the turf. So um, this is actually a popular shoe when it comes to the team's events. Um, they wear this quite a bit. So um, idea is obviously you want to have some toe off traction, um, and really, you know, you don't want any sort of slippage throughout uh, the competition. So four shoes this year. We've got, you know, we're talking tons of shoes we're handing out. Uh, a lot happening here, so super excited to uh, get the games rolling and get started. So. so after we take care of the, the athletes with the footwear, we pass them over here to these guys that handle all the accessories. How are you? This is where we have our accessory kit, where the athletes will receive a hat, some socks, uh, and a cinch bag. So I'm Jay Jones with John Brand. So what we have is custom headbands for all of the athletes that come through. Uh, even athletes that are individual and team. This year, they all get their last names on them so they can actually be a part of the team and match up, but they can be their individual, which is what we preach at Jug, is to be an individual amongst the team. All right, so athletes come through, they've got all their footwear, they've got all their apparel, so now they come through and, and see the rest of our vendors um, with CrossFit. really it.